If diabetes runs in your family, then you will want to hear this. A new study that shows promise for delaying the onset of the disease by years. The new global study shows that an immunotherapy drug can put type 1 diabetes on the skids for two years in high-risk kids and adults. Ursula Perry shows us how the study showed some great results. Megan and Madeline Coder were different in one way. Megan was diagnosed with diabetes at age nine. As her twin and having four of the five protein that target insulin making cells, Madeline was at high risk. She got diagnosed in September and I started the trial in April. Madeline got infusions of teplizumab for 14 days and she didn't get diabetes for two years. I know I'm gonna get it sometime, so I knew I should be expecting it, but it was very nice not having to have it immediately. Megan dove in and was very diligent and Madeline could watch and for two years she just did that and then when she had to step into that role it was she did a good job. It was easier for her. Ben Arroyo Research Institute President Dr. Jane Buckner calls this study and its results groundbreaking. This is certainly the first time looking at people at very high risk of getting diabetes who don't yet have it, that we've been able to prove that we could delay disease with this treatment. Of the 76 participants in the trial, 72% who got a placebo developed diabetes. That's compared to only 43% who got teblizumab. And most of those in the trial were under the age of 18. It's a really important time in life for their health, for their growth, for their mental health. And so two more years without this disease is really going to have a huge impact on them. More studies are planned for a faster FDA approval of this drug. In fact, they're working to expand the number of benefits for this particular drug, making the potential impact for patients like Megan and Madeline far greater. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.